Hi everyone, hi friends. Um, welcome back to another video. Today I really wanted to talk about 10 businesses to support this holiday season. And before I get started on that, I just want to point out that I got bangs and that's probably why I look a little bit different. And if I keep touching my hair throughout the video, it's because I'm still trying to get used to them because they keep falling in my face. I'm trying to keep like pushing them away. So never mind that. But um, I did want to talk about some sustainable brands because I feel like there's so much greenwashing out there. There's so many things that are like a little bit unsure. Like you look at somebody's website, it kind of seems like they're trying, but then it's like there's no backup and it's hard. It's hard out there on the internet. So yeah, I've compiled a little list for you of some of my favorite brands or some brands that I am gonna support in the future. I know that everyone right now is looking to shop for their families. And of course it is that time of the year. And as you can see from my previous video, I really took a huge stance to saying no to Black Friday, which I actually decided not to buy anything at all on Black Friday. Like nothing i really wanted to grow get some toast it's like this non-alcoholic beverage that's like sparkling and it's really fun and bubbly but then i was like no i i can't go out there and buy anything so yeah i i did that i did that and i'm very happy with my choice but now that we are kind of getting really close to the holiday and people are celebrating and some are buying gifts i thought that i would let you know what are some of my favorite businesses to support um and the ones that i have either supported in the past um, or ones that I'm looking forward to supporting in the future. So I wanted to kind of gather up 10 places for you. Let's get started with that. So number one for me, um, and this is not in a certain order, this is just like randomly I spewed out 10 of my favorite brands so far, uh, but number one is uh, Conscious Step. So I did actually just purchase a pair of socks for them for a gift exchange that I'm doing, and they are, they just, they're doing really, really great things. So to start off with, like as you can see, like each pair donates a dollar to a charity and you pick your socks based on your charity. You can save cats, which is one of my favorites. Oceans, um, support gender equality, donate books to children. Like, I mean, it, it's like the whole freaking thing, but basically they are God certified. They're 1% for the planet. They're vegan. Uh, they are fair trade cotton. And all of these are certifications which are so incredibly hard and it takes forever to get. So I just give them props for doing all of that. Also, they take care of their employees and that to me just kind of really says it all. So I was really, really happy to support them. Oh, and to not forget, you can choose to do your shipping carbon neutral. So that's just really cherry on top for me. So that is Conscious Step. Uh, and of course, all of the links will be down below. Number two. I have Lumiere uh, ceramics and uh, I just had to include them. They are the sweetest people. We have Erin and Oliver and they're a two people team. It's a vegan farm, a nonprofit vegan farm in Jane, Oregon. And they have the sweetest animals. They're so cute. And I actually got the pleasure to stay at their farm um, back last year in October. And it was so great. Their yurt is beautiful. Uh, their animals are so cute um, and they are zero waste. Like their yurt was completely zero waste and like they're kind of secluded from everything. So it's just, it's perfect. Beside the point, uh, they make their own mugs and I am drinking out of one right now. And I love it. My dad even commented on this the other day. He was like, this is so beautiful. And I was like, I know, right? Isn't it cute? It's just perfect. It's perfect. And I have two of them, of course. Yeah, I, I just love their farm, so check out their website if you're looking for some cute mocks to give someone that are handmade, um, clearly in their little studio. Like, this this is a perfect place and you're supporting a great cause. Number three, I have Girlfriend Collective. I'm a huge fan of Girlfriend Collective and um, I just wanna say that 79% of their products are recycled and their bras are made from like 11 bottles of uh, plastic plastic bottles. So like they try to use like ocean plastic. It's really great. Their packaging is 100% recycled and recyclable. It comes on this like really cute pouch that's also made from waste. I don't know, I can't say that, I just have the best things to say. I think their clothing is really comfortable. It's like, it's just made for like everybody. Like I, I really cannot say more. But also one of the biggest things for me was, um, and of course I got this one from Remake, 
um, that I am an ambassador for, but I wanted to say that their factories are SA 8000 certified, which means their operations adhere to those super strict regulations to keep factory employees well paid, safe, and living healthy lives. So I think that is sort of quite important. And something I read on Remake is that they give their employees free dinners and lunches, which is like, of course, that's like incredible. All right, so number four, uh, we have We To The People, and this is a, a black woman-owned brand, and she just seems so down to earth and so cool. Um, I have been following their brand for a while, They and you know, I, I feel like just everything they stand behind is just really perfect, but I think the best product they really have is like their razor. And their refillable blades are 100% nickel free and made of stainless steel. I mean, you just really can refill it and it really eliminates that plastic waste that we have from shaving razors. Of course, there was another thing. They also do some, they work with some partners that are lead certified and I feel like that's really cool. So, huge fan, it's a cool brand. Me Mother Earth is my number five and I really enjoy speaking with Amanda. She's the coolest lady, but this brand is owned by Alberto and Amanda and they are a married couple in Vegas. Um, and yeah, it's basically a zero waste shop. It's it's a little bit smaller. They're just really getting started and getting out there. Their packaging is shipped with no plastic and I can definitely say I know because I've re I've gotten so many packages from them at this point because I do use a lot of things from their kitchen um, option from their kitchen products like dish brush, yep, dish brush, uh, bath brush. I use their uh, zero tox. I think it's no tox um, dish like uh, soap bar. It's it, it sounds weird, but it's incredible. Um, and their vegan uh, floss, like tooth floss, fantastic, fantastic. It was like one of the only vegan floss brands I could find at the time, and now I'm just hooked. Incredible, just love them. Okay, so next I have package free. So that's a little bit of a bigger store, of course. Um, I really do enjoy going there when I could, I guess back in the day, but it's been so long ago and I just don't know when I'm gonna go back. But they did offer the TerraCycle boxes, which I've always really loved. Um, but their their shop is really cute. They sell so many things now and they really, some of the things I was looking online for is that they promote only buying what you need and they focus on reducing individual waste and methane emissions. So I feel like that's really great. That's so great. and. Of course, their employees are fantastic and yeah, and they ship zero waste, yeah. Oh, and I guess something else to mention too is that they don't accept packages from their supply from other vendors that include plastic, so they will not sell you anything that's like packaged in plastic or anything else like that, which I feel like is a huge bonus. All right, so number seven, we have Otterno. I'm brand new to this brand. I read it on the Remakes Sustainable Report. Yeah, it's the transparency report of 2020. I'm gonna link that down below. Some of these brands, they're very much geared towards women, which is amazing. But also I do appreciate when a brand aims towards men because, um, or sells things for men as well, because I feel like we all need to be sustainable. So I really, really love that. But 90% of their fabrics are organic. 100% of their trunks are made from recycled fibers. They invest in 5K workers. They're fair trade certified. They're guaranteed for life. And they follow ZDHC, which is zero discharge of hazardous chemicals guidelines. And they're one of the fewer brands that does that. And I feel like that's just incredible. I looked at some of their stuff. It's super cute. Um, so yeah, just to check them out if you need something that's specifically clothing for really anyone. So number eight is Organic Basics. I have yet to purchase anything from them, but I, they're really high on my list for when I need things because I don't just purchase things because I feel like it. Um, but they're intimates and workout gear. They're 1% for the planet, they're B Corp. They have a clear breakdown of their factories um, and they're God certified, of course. And that's important. That's so, so important. So for me, when I look for places that kind of check into the boxes that I'm thinking of and they're not greenwashing. Certifications are important, yes, 
but I also really need to know how the employees are treated, are they paid equally because I don't really want to buy something that was made by someone that's not paid fairly because I'm not going to feel really great wearing that piece of clothing. So I feel like that's just incredibly important. So kudos to them. Number nine, um, I have made trade and this is like a large website that just like has a lot of things you can buy. A lot of it is home, a lot of it is um, bath, like bedding, like anything like that they really sell. They also have some clothing too, but I've purchased these beautiful baskets from them previously. So these baskets are really, really beautiful and they are intertwined with these plastic uh, recycled materials, which is really, really cool. So I'm a huge fan, but also looking on their website, I did see that they are 1% for the planet and they're also all shipping and returns on their website are 100% carbon offset. So I feel like that's just really, really fantastic. So anything home related, they're a really great uh, place to go and shop because they do really think about a lot of things that are involving sustainability. So number 10, I have Con, and this is one of my favorite brands for basics. I really do enjoy this brand a lot. They're certified B Corp, they support schools, fair and equal pay for people in factories, and they're trying to have 100% organic Con in the next five years. So it's important to note here that not every brand, basically what they do is they sell clothing uh, for everyone, and I think that's really beautiful. Their pieces, themselves, like the garments, like, designs, the cuts are really perfect. I think they're really flattering for a lot of people. Really good brand to support overall if you need basics. With that all said and done, I think it's important for us to know that every brand is, every brand listed here at least is on a sustainability journey and no one's perfect, right? Like I think that at the end of the day, we really, when we're shopping for things, we really need to look at brands that have a sustainability report, they're looking at things, they're measuring things, or they have achievable goals that they're trying to reach by, you know, 2025, 2030. Um, I think that's really where, what, what is important to look at. And it's not just greenwashing, if that makes sense. I think that we really need to give people a little bit grace there because they're all really much trying. But there are, of course, brands that just don't try at all, and we should probably stay away from those. And you can read more in the Remakes Transparency Report um, with the link down below, and you'll just be able to see some of the brands that are just not quite there, and they're not trying at all either. Always look at the certifications. The certifications are so hard to come by and they're so lengthy. So if a brand does have them, it, it is a really, really good sign that they're trying to do the right thing. And although I am talking about all of these new clothes today, I am going to point out that I am wearing this top. It's a, it's from Gap and honestly, it's from 10 years ago. It's so old, but I'm still wearing it because it's still perfect. There's no holes. And even if there were, maybe I would actually patch them up. But anyway, I love this top and to always kind of choose things that you almost may have to thrift and especially for gifting thrifting, I feel like it could be a really, really cool way to do it um, because you could find so many cool and vintage things that, like that. So yeah, and if you're, you need to buy something new, please do look at brands that are more sustainable and try to avoid Amazon. As I read somewhere the other day, their CEO is already very rich and he does not quite need your support as much as these these other uh, guys do that are doing really incredible work. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.